What's up, everybody? My name is Josh Osborne. I'm Matt McCarty. And this is our UFC 86 Predictions. Alright, let's get right into it immediately. We're not going to mess around too much on the undercards, but we definitely want to cover them. A couple uh, interesting matchups. We got Corey Hill from uh, Ultimate Fighter Season 5 against relatively unheard of Justin Buchholz. My pick is going to be uh, Buchholz because I looked. Uh, he's got eight fights more than Corey Hill. So I'm taking experience, and I'm giving him the win via decision. <clears throat> what about you, Matt? I'm going to have to go with Corey Hill. He's just ferocious. Excellent. Right, so next part we got Melvin Gillard versus Dennis Seaver. What uh, pops in your head about that one? I, you know, I, I looked at it and said Seaver has good takedowns. Gillard comes from a wrestling background in high school. His strikes are insane. Good t- it's going to take more than good takedowns. To finish yeah. that off. I'm going to go with Gillard via knockout. Yeah, I, I'm definitely taking Gillard on this one, too. The wrestling background, I, I've seen him stuff takedowns pretty good. He usually gets caught in other ways. So I'm taking him uh, via knockout. He's definitely due for a win here. Uh, next one, uh, we got uh, George Gurgel versus Cole Miller. Um, this one I'm actually taking as my upset special. I'm thinking uh, Grigel is probably favored to win. He's got the bigger name. He trains with uh, Rich Franklin in Cincinnati. But I'm taking Colton Miller via submission. He's a long, lanky guy. I was pretty impressed with him on uh, Ultimate Fighter Season 5, and um, I'm expecting him uh, to uh, show some flash and bang this week. What do you think? Yeah, you know, Gurgel has a good chin, but I'm always let down by... I agree. I agree. His performance. Great heart, good chin, but I'm going to go Miller via technical knockout. I don't think he's going to completely finish him off, okay. but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bad night for Gabriel. Uh Next one. This is the first interesting fight for me. we got Gabriel Gonzaga versus Justin McCauley. Uh, what was Gonzaga's last fight? Was, uh, what was uh, Gonzaga? That was uh, up against uh, just fought Vera, uh, Verdum. Verdum lost and lost. Verdum. Yeah, so he's, he's lost two since uh, the loss against Couture. Yeah, the title uh, fight. Yeah. So uh, what are you thinking here? Who's this Justin McCauley guy? Mm-hmm. You heard him much? I, he comes out of Team Punishment, trains okay. with Tito. Okay. Haven't been impressed with Tito in a long time. Yeah. The camp is just, I don't know, I don't like it. I'm going to go with Gonzaga being knockout. Yes, I'm definitely going to agree. I'm going to get a little more specific. Uh, specific. I'm going knockout via a right leg. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I just, I uh, got feeling. Go yeah. figure. Yep. Uh, next, next fight we got Tyson Griffin versus Marcus Aurelio. Um, love Tyson Griffin. Love him. Um, he's fought some amazing guys in one. He's uh, won over Clay Guida. He did lose to Frankie Edgar, but Edgar is a pretty decent guy. Uh, Marcus Aurelio. Be honest, I don't know a whole lot about him. Looking at his uh, his list of fights. He's won a few times, but again, it was against guys with uh, not much experience. So uh, I'm taking Tyson Griffin via submission. Yeah, I'm going with Griffin, technical knockout. You know, he fights a lot of guys with good jujitsu. Aurelio has really good jujitsu, but I'm going to go with Griffin. He's been in really bad spots before. You know, bad knee bars, bad control, mm-hmm. and he just pulls it out. And yeah. so I'm going to go with, with Griffin via technical knockout. Excellent. Okay. Uh, next one on the card, we got Josh Koscheck versus Chris Lytle. Um, we were talking earlier, we have no idea what this guy's nationality is. We're thinking white and a Mexican got together, or a Mexican <laughs> and a Russian. I don't know. Koscheck sounds pretty Russian. I'm going to think it's completely African-American. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Anybody's guess is good. Uh, I think uh, the first time most people saw Koscheck would have been on the very first season of Ultimate Fighter where he was known as uh, Josh the Blanket Koscheck. <laughs> Hated his guts, didn't like the whole craziness uh, between him and Chris Levin, but he's definitely improved a lot since then. He's yeah. not just the type of wrestler that lays down on a guy for three rounds and pretty much holds him to the ground. He is uh, improving in stand-up. He's got some amazing wins against Diego Sanchez. I hate Diego, but, I mean, gosh, what is he, 18-2? and two? He's a great <laughs> fighter, so that definitely means something. He has lost against a guy named GSP, but who hasn't these days? Uh, I'm taking him over Lytle mainly just because Koscheck's on fire. I kind of see Lytle going against... Uh, you know, Sarah Hughes in Parisian and losing all those fights. Most of his wins are, again, against guys with no name. Um, 
so I kind of see him going out like Matthews. He's a great guy, but he's got a ton of fights. He's getting older. I think he's 34 like Matthews, so I'm afraid uh, for him this time. So I don't know. What are you thinking about this one? Yeah, you know, Koscheck is just a hard guy to handle. And, yeah. you know, even his fight against oh, something GSP. something different out there. Yeah, I mean, his fight against GSP, I mean, you know, he, he did go to decision. He went to decision. How many guys are around? How many guys go to decision? Not with many. GSP. I mean, I you know, know, I just got to go with Koscheck. It's like he has that hill thing. He's just ferocious. Really, really powerful strikes. Wild, yeah, but they're really heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Koscheck via technical knockout. Okay. All right. Uh, next one we got Joe Stevenson versus Gleason Thibault. Um, I don't know, this seems to be kind of a trend. Whenever you get a title fight like uh, Joe Daddy had with BJ Penn, Joe Daddy of course lost that fight. So to encourage him and keep him in the UFC and keep his fans, it's like. Dan White throws him a bone and kind of throws just whoever they can get in there. Thibault, he might be awesome. I don't know. I just don't see him winning this fight. He's got a lot of experience, but Joe Daddy is awesome against people not named BJ Penn. <laughs> so uh, I'm taking uh, Joe Daddy uh, via submission, specifically a guillotine. I think uh, Gleason is going to be anxious. He's going to shoot in there, and Joe Daddy is going to wrap him up, drop back, and sink in the, uh, the choke. What do you yeah. think? Stevenson with killer guillotine against Galar a while back. I mean, it's just, you know, he's going to overwhelm you on your feet. He's going to overwhelm you on your back, on his back, wherever. He's just going to outdo you. And I'm just going to have to go with Stevenson's submission. All right. And now we get into the last two fights of the night. We got Patrick Cote versus Ricardo Almeida. Um, something that surprised me was Almeida, uh, when looking at his list of fights, he went from fighting at UFC 35 to no fight until UFC 81 breaking point. So that seems like uh, quite a window there of, of no fights. So I'm going to go with Cote via knockout on this one. I don't know. I, I could either go either way, but I'm, I'm taking Cote. I think he's just uh, too hot right now for uh, uh, Ricardo to handle. What do you think of that? You know, you know, Cote is great, but his last fight I saw against a real submission guy, Luder, it's just, you know, it was just he stood no chance. Almeida finished that fight quick. I don't know, you know, the guy he fought, obviously, you know, kind of a chump. Yeah. I'm going to say so. Yeah. You know, I'm going to go with Almeida's submission. That's a, that's a risky bet, but I'm going to go for it. Almeida submission. Okay, now to the, the main business of the evening. we got Quentin Rampage Jackson against Forrest. Does not have a nickname, Griffin. No. Um, wow. Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm not real sure what's going to happen in this one. I'm, I'm thinking Quinn Jackson is going to be his old self, knockout Forrest Griffin. The only way I see Griffin winning is just hanging in there, which he normally does, and just pecking away using his reach advantage and his unorthodox style to just stay on top with the judges. Uh, otherwise, uh, he's, he's fish food in my opinion. So we'll see what happens. What are you thinking? You know, this will be the first time we see Forrest go five rounds, hopefully. Yeah. I'm going to go with Forrest's submission in the fifth. I like you that. Know, you know, Forrest trains hard, great cardio. You know, Forrest just has balls. Big ones. Big balls. Yeah, you never, ever can count a guy out that plays like Forrest. You know, he's in it to win it, and I think he's definitely going to be jazzed considering this is his chance to yeah. reign uh, among the light heavies. But... It definitely is going to be an interesting one. Would you say the deeper it goes into the match, the more it favors Forrest? I would definitely say it favors Forrest the later it goes. You know, standing on their feet, if Rampage doesn't knock him out, I, I have a feeling, you know, fourth round, Rampage is going to start to get discouraged. Yeah. It's, you know, Forrest was battling with Shogun, and, you know, last round, no time left. Pulled something out of his butt. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. Those big balls. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of our show. This is our first one. Uh, you like what you see, drop us a comment on YouTube or wherever this is posted and, and let us know what you think. And if you our guts. Do it too. We want to hear the, the hate mail. If you don't agree with us, that's cool. MMA is about opinions. We see a lot of it. You're either a nut hugger or <laughs> they have so many different terms out there for people now. So it's like, you know, you're, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. So that's our picture this week. Hopefully you'll see us for 87. Really looking forward to the next year. Yeah, fight. Let's yeah. see if we finally get a title defense in there. We'll see what happens. But that's it for us, guys. I'm Josh Osborne. Matt McCarty. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Thank you.